Hi everyone. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Johnny Chen Zui, A19EM0143. Today, I would like to present my individual sketches for Group C, which focus on forward and drop. Firstly, our task is to design a conveyor belt which could convey and handling three bosses to move smoothly without any disruption and drop the second bosses when it reached 75 cm within 30 seconds. My main idea is to build a conveyor belt with retracting mechanism. I would like to present the material of the whole component and follow up by my mechanism. Firstly, the vertical feeder is fixed at a position which not more than 15 cm from the platform of the conveyor belt and it is made out of cardboard. The support of my conveyor belt is made by wood and its stability is strengthened through adding a wood between the legs of the support. The foot pad steel tube is applied to increase the stability of my support. The belt is made out of rubber to reduce our cost and rubber is more stable on retracting mechanism. The cover of the conveyor belt is made out of standard steel which is more rigid. The part of the conveyor belt which is made out of two tail plate on high side, two tail plate on low side, four center rail, one filter plate which on high side only, two button head cap screw, two button wiper, two button bar, two pulley spindle assembly, two side rail, and two crossbar assembly. The mechanism of the conveyor belt is starting by activating the AC motor to move the conveyor belt. Then, the three boxes are put into the vertical feeder and start to convey on the belt. The timer is set to ensure the belt retract when the second boxes pass at 75 cm to have a quick drop. However, the first and the third boxes will just pass through the whole process. The criteria which able to complete the operation of three bosses by 30 seconds with wetting 5 is given by 4 mark because the conveyor belt is set at a speed of 0.033 m per second. Secondly, criteria which able to drop the second bosses when it reaches 75 cm with wetting 5 is given by 4 mark because the timer is set to ensure the belt retract and has a quick drop at 75 cm for second process. Thirdly, criteria which able to move smoothly without any disruption with wetting 5 is given by Trima because there is other factors like winds and friction which may affect the, throughout the process. The criteria which able to convey evenly each box from output of vertical feeder with wetting 5 is given by Trima because the vertical feeder is fixed at a height of not more than 15 cm from the platform of the conveyor belt. Next, the criteria for simplicity with wetting 5 is given by 4 mark because the conveyor belt is made of several components only. Besides, the criteria for cost with wetting 4 is given by Trima because the material like rubber, cardboard, and wood are low cost material. The criteria which easy to assemble or deassemble with wetting 4 is given by Forma because the conveyor belt can be deassembled and assembled easily for the purpose of repairing and maintaining. Next, the criteria for safety with wetting 5 is given by 2 mark because the emergency button is not prepared and the finger might get grit accidentally. Then, the criteria for rigidity with wetting 4 is given by 3 mark because the stability is strengthened through adding a wood between the leg of the support and foot pad steel tube is added to increase the stability.
The criteria for ergonomy with wetting tree is given by Forma because the height of the conveyor belt is set at 1.2 meter, which is easier for our operator to operate. Lastly, the criteria for aesthetic with wetting tool is given by Tuma because the design looks quite simple and not focusing on its appearance. This is the assembly of the conveyor belt design. The design of this box handling machine is focused on the forwarding and the dropping. The design of this conveyor belt are able to drop the even number boxes while the odd number boxes will go straight forward without dropping. The box handling machine is a roller conveyor belt which are divided into three parts. The three roller conveyor belts are separate and the second roller conveyor belt can move from the center to the left and then back to the center again. The vertical feeder is placed right above the roller conveyor belts so that the boxes will drop on the conveyor belt directly. There are a total of 7 parts in this conveyor belt design which are vertical feeder, a piece of clay wood, four roller holders which connected the first and the third conveyor belt, two roller holders for the second conveyor belt, two pieces of small play wood, motor, rollers, and the four conveyor belt legs. Firstly, the boxes are put into the vertical feeder. The boxes will go down and drop on the conveyor belt. At first, three roller conveyor belts are arranged in a straight line. For the first box, it will go forward without dropping. But when the second boxes come, the second conveyor belt will move to the left. Thus, the second box will move forwards from the first conveyor belt and drop into the empty holes. After that, the second conveyor belt will move back to the center to form back a straight line conveyor belt. Lastly, the third box is then continue moving forward without dropping. For the evaluation matrix, the ability to complete the operation of three boxes by 30 seconds is 3 as the second conveyor belt to return back to the sender might be delayed in time. The ability to drop the second boxes when it reaches 75 cm is 3 because the second conveyor belt can move to the left. Hence, it is more stable. For the criteria number 4, the ability to convey evenly each box from output of the vertical feeder is 3 as the vertical feeder is placed right above the roller. For the simplicity, cost and easy to assemble or disassemble is 2. Because there are many rollers and it is more complex and needs more cost. For the rigidity is 3. Because there are only 4 legs and not that stable. Based on the task given, the material handling machine is designed as shown. From the picture, we can see that the machine is equipped with vertical feeder, conveyor belt system, motors, flipper and rollers. And the box is transferred from the vertical feeder to the end of the conveyor belt system. The picture shows the parts of the material handling machine. Firstly, there is a vertical feeder with its base. The motor used to rotate the conveyor belt system is placed beside the vertical feeder and its base is welded with the feeder base. Then we have conveyor belt with its stems. In the middle of the machine, rollers and flipper with its motor are equipped. Besides, there is a rubber 
tight between the pulley of the conveyor belt system and the roller in order to rotate them together. Moreover, the gears help the rollers to keep rotating. And the flipper system with its motor is placed with the rollers. Note that the flipper motor is placed under the rollers with its base. You can refer to the arrow pointed. Next, let's move on to the mechanism of the machine. Firstly, the motor of the conveyor belt system is turned on and the belt is moving. The boxes are put into the vertical feeder and right contacted with the conveyor belt. And then the boxes automatically transfers to the roller parts. The flipper is set to be flipped downwards every 10 seconds and returned to its position after a second by its motor. Means that only the even box will drop by the machine. Note that the first and the third box will continue passing through the flipper and move to the end of the conveyor belt. The table above shows the evaluation matrix of the material handling machine. Based on the criteria, most of them score 3. Firstly, the operation time for 3 boxes is to be done in 30 seconds, and it depends on the speed of the model of the conveyor belt system. Its scoring is 3 because the experiment not yet done to confirm the speed of the conveyor belt. Same with the second criteria, which is drop the second box when it reach 75 cm. The experiment haven't done to confirm the speed of conveyor belt. Let's look into the third criteria, which is able to move smoothly without any disruption. The score is put slightly low because the box may have difficulty to transfer on the rollers. Although the surface of the flipper is smooth, the rollers sometimes may have malfunction and cause the box stuck on the roller's pad. According to the fourth criteria, the output of the vertical feeder is set with a height of 11 cm from the conveyor belt. It has been tried that the boxes can be conveyed evenly from the output of the feeder with this height. However, the box sometimes will stuck in the vertical feeder due to the way of putting it. Therefore, the scoring is 4 instead of 5. Next, the simplicity of the machine score 3. This is because the structure of the machine is simple and normal and can be seen in market. And then we come to cost. The score of the cost is slightly low because the machine requires many materials to construct. The price of the rollers and conveyor belt system is considered high. Next, the machine is not easy to assemble and deassemble because the structure is quite complicated with the rollers and flipper. The part of the rollers and flipper quite hard to assemble because need to nail them together. According to the safety, the only weakness would be the flipper. The flipper will cause injury to the operators if he or she accidentally touch it when the flipper is flipping. For its rigidity, the machine is quite stable with its base and the stance of the conveyor belt. Therefore, the scoring is 3. From the criteria of ergonomics, the scoring is 4 because the machine is convenient to use and fully automated. It saves a lot of main power to forward and drop the box. Lastly, the aesthetic of the machine score 3. The machine may be sprayed with colors and not rusty. Hi everyone, my name is Taiyuan. I would like to present about my individual sketches which we are doing the forward and drop material handling machine. See? This is the example of my individual sketches where I designed it using the idea of pop-up device which the box will be dropped down by it. It is the part of my design which include the AC motor, hardboard, vertical feeder, conveyor belt, pulley, roller, chain shaft,
chain roller, frames, and the conveyor housing. Next, I will explain about the mechanism of the sketches that I have designed. Firstly, the boxes are put into the vertical feeder. Then, the box from vertical feeder will be conveyed to the conveyor belt. When the second box reaches the powered pop-up chain rollers at 75 cm, it will lift the box and guide it off the conveyor at a certain angle. The second box that guided off from conveyor belt will then direct it into a low angled roller conveyor and drop down. Meanwhile, the first box which is not directed by the pop-up chain rollers will move forward through the conveyor belt. Points of evaluation matrix I had given. Three points for the ability to complete the operation of three boxes by 30 seconds and to drop the second boxes when it reaches 75 cm as the timer set for the operation of conveyor and calculations done on the velocity of the boxes may be affected by other factors like wind and so on. Furthermore, four points given for the ability of boxes to move smoothly without any disruption as the rubber conveyor belt has less friction. Next, three points given for the ability to convey evenly each box from output of vertical feeder as the vertical feeder a design may have some shortage. Since the mechanism is quite complicated and the product I design may cost a lot in the budget expected. Two points and one point given respectively for the simplicity and cost. As the pop-up device is quite difficult to assemble or disassemble, thus two points are given. Whereas for the criteria of Safety, Frigidity, Ergonomic, and Aesthetic each are given by 3 points. Since the design I've done is not equipped by the emergency safety button, so that is quite dangerous. Next, the machine I designed is supported by stable plywood legs and efficiency as well as the, as well as the comfort in the working. Here is the pipe wood that I've designed. Lastly, the criteria of aesthetic is given by three points due to the appearance of design is moderate. Thank you. For the ability to complete the operation of three bosses by 30 seconds and the ability to draw the second bosses when it reaches 75 cm, Johnny's concept has the highest score which is 4 and the rest of the members has the same score which is 3. Yuan has the highest score which is 4 in the criteria of being able to move smoothly without any disruption while Xinqi score 2 in this criteria. Johnny and Carmen have the same score, which is 3. For the criteria simplicity, Johnny's score is the highest, which is 4, but Carmen and Yuan are the lowest, which is 2, since she has a score of 3 in this criteria. On the cost criteria, Yuan has the lowest score, which means her concept needs more cost, while Johnny has the highest score of 4. Since she and Carmen have the same score, which is 2, all members' concepts are having the same score in the criteria of easy to assemble or deassemble. Except Johnny's concept has the highest score of 4, which means that his concept is easy to assemble or deassemble. For the most important criteria, which is safety, Johnny has the score of 2 compared to the rest of the member who has the score of 3. All members have the same score in the criteria of rigidity, which is 3. Xinqi and Johnny have the same score in the criteria of economics, which is 4, while Yuan and Kamun are the same, which is 3 score. In the criteria of aesthetic, 
Shinji and Yuwon have the highest score of 3, but Johnny and Kamu have the least score of 2. In conclusion, Johnny has the highest total score among the members, which is 144, while Kamu has the least total score, which is only 120. Shinji has recorded the second highest score of 127, and Yuwon has 123 score for her concept. This will be the part metric which based on the design that I have been modified. The one which has improvement will be able to convey evenly each box from output of vertical feeder, rigidity, and aesthetic. On the other hand, simplicity and cost has facing deterioration. Improvement on able to convey evenly each box from output of vertical feeder because the vertical feeder has a better support and become more stability compared to previous design. Next, the rigidity also has an improvement because the modification for the support of the vertical feeder has increased its rigidity. Then, the aesthetic of the design also improved because there is an improvement from the appearance of the design. However, there is a deterioration on simplicity and cost due to adding some new components such as the support for vertical feeder, causing it to become more complex and higher cost involved. Lastly, the remain criteria will just remain unchanged. This will be the sketches of my modified design. Thank you. For modified concept, the legs are added the support to make sure that they are more stable. The roller is placed right under the vertical feeder to make sure that the boxes will fall down on the roller directly. The second conveyor belt also modified by adding a support to it to make sure that it will move smoothly between the center and the left. Ability to convey evenly each box from the output of the vertical feeder is increased. As the vertical feeder is right above the roller, the boxes will drop and the roller will convey the boxes directly. The simplicity is decreased as the leg support is added more plywood and the second conveyor belt is also added the support. It is more difficult and complex. For the cost, this modified concept uses more material and the cost is also higher. For the criteria, easy to assemble or disassemble is decreased because there are many rollers and the support in the second conveyor belt is added and become more difficult to assemble or disassemble. For the modified concept, the safety is increased because uh, there are many supports added to the second conveyor belt and make it more stable. The rigidity of this modified concept is increased because the legs are added supports to it and making it become more stable and hence the rigidity increase. The aesthetics is increased as this design is become more beautiful after modified. The picture shows the modified sketch of the material handling machine. There are some changes in the vertical feeder and the stance of the conveyor belt. So now, let us proceed to the exploded view of the machine. The parts of the machine are as shown. The vertical feeder is designed straight on the floor. And then, the stance of the conveyor belt system is also been stabilized with the design. And the rest are the same with the first sketch. Now, we come to its mechanism. The mechanism of the machine is same with the previous sketch. The boxes are put into the vertical feeder and move with the conveyor belt themselves. Then, the box is automatically transferred to the roller parts and to the end of the conveyor belt. The first and the third box will continue passing through the flipper and to the end of the conveyor belt.
The flipper will flip downwards every 10 seconds, means that the machine only drops the second box. The table shown refers to the park matrix. There are some improvements in some criteria. Firstly, the boxes can convey evenly from the output of vertical feeder because the size of the output is measured and expands. It is to prevent the box stuck in the vertical feeder. Next, the simplicity of the machine improves because less materials needed to construct the machine. However, the cost of the machine might be more expensive because the size of the vertical feeder has been expanded and the stands of the conveyor belt system are evolved. The machine design increases the difficulty to assemble or deassemble. This is because the conveyor belt system is put inside the vertical feeder. Hence, we need to be careful when assemble or deassemble the machine. Next, the rigidity has improved because the base of the machine is stabilized with the bigger base of feeder and stands. Lastly, the aesthetic of the machine is also improved. The appearance of the machine looks nicer with the design. So now, I would like to introduce the design that I have modified. This is the design that I haven't modified before. And this is the design that I have made some modification on it. As we can see, I have modified the vertical feeder here. And add some new things here. First evaluation matrix, I have done some modification on my design, which the criteria can be seen on the part matrix here. It is expected to have higher possibilities to complete the operation of three boxes by 30 seconds as I have changed the hardboard and lengthened the conveyor belt so that it has less interruption. Next. It is also expected to have higher possibilities to convey evenly each box from output of vertical feeder. This is because the vertical feeder I have modified could have better performance by dropping the box accurately. The design will also become more rigid as I improve the rigidity by adding the square floor protector. Here. For example, is here the square floor protector, and the however it become more difficult to assemble or disassemble, and thus affected the simplicity of the design. It will also cost higher on the design. On the, in contrast, the other criteria remain the same. Thank you. The part matrix of every member are recorded in the table shown. From the criteria of the ability to complete the operation of 3 boxes by 30 seconds, all members have the same score with the previous matrix except the word. She has done some improvement with it. All members have the same score for the criteria of the ability to drop the second boxes when it reaches 75 cm. For the ability to move smoothly without any disruption, all of us remain the same. And for the ability to convey evenly each box from the output of the vertical feeder, all of us has improved as we place the conveyor belt system right under the vertical feeder. From the simplicity, only Xinqi has improved her design as she used lesser materials to design the machine compared with her first sketch. Moreover, only Kamun does some improvement on the safety of the machine. All members except Johnny have deterioration on the criteria of easy assemble or disassemble of the machine. All members have improved the rigidity of design but remain unchanged on the ergonomics. Lastly, for the aesthetics, 
all members have improved except you won't remain the same. In conclusion, Sinchi has the highest overall total of improvement, which is 2, and Johnny has the highest real total of the improvement as well, which is 8. According to the evaluation and park metrics, Johnny's concept will be the final concept of our group projects. So now I will introduce the final concept of the design. This one is Johnny's design and the mechanism. Firstly, when the boxes are put into the vertical feeder, the boxes will drop on the conveyor belt directly. Secondly, the AC motor starts and it will rotate the pulley inside the conveyor belt. Then the conveyor belt started to move and convey the box one by one. After that, the conveyor belt will move back to its original position. The conveyor belt will be checked as the timer is set to enable a quick drop from the second box. Lastly, the third box will continue moving forward without dropping. Next, I will introduce the materials of the design. The material of the design mainly used is steel, which conveyor belt support, rotating motor, retractable motor, automatic nozzle retraction system, use steel as the main material, while conveyor belt use rubber and Vertical feeder support use wood, whereas the vertical feeder use cupboard to make it. Next is the dimensions of the conveyor belt, vertical feeder, and support for vertical feeder. The dimension of conveyor belt. The length of our belt will be 1000 mm and its width will be 100 mm to fit the box which has 80 mm. The overall length of the conveyor belt will be 1500 mm. The height of the conveyor is 1200 mm because it will be easier to operate for operator. Secondly is the dimension of vertical feeder. The vertical feeder has a length of 140 mm and its width will be 150 mm. The height of the vertical feeder will be 250 mm. The support of vertical feeder has a length of 200 mm and its width will be 300 mm. It's the support for vertical feeder. The height for the support of vertical feeder will be 1020mm, which is lower than the height of the conveyor belt. Thank you.